Okay, so now that we have the brushes loaded up, um, I'm gonna go over some brush basics, some brush foundations, and working with the color palettes that I've provided. Now, just remember, even though I might be demoing a certain brush from a certain collection, that this princi these principles uh, are good on whatever wet paint mix or brush you're using. So whether it's a different collection or a brush that I included in a tutorial, still the same principles. So I'm just gonna demo here. I've got my Wet Paint Studio, which was my first collection of wet paint brushes that I um, released. And I'm just gonna kind of show you around, help you understand this brush. So I've got my brush panel open and I'm going to pick out brush number 30. Now, the cool thing about the brushes that I deliver to you is that I have already, you know, tweaked all the settings so that they're perfect. They give you all different effects, but also they're already loaded up with some color. So in this case, I loaded them up. I love gold. So I loaded them up with some metallic gold and you can see, and I did this because that way you can see what the brush looks like right away. So you don't have to go search for a color palette. Um, you can just select this brush and paint and preview this brush right away. So I'm gonna preview brush number 30. And as you can see, it's a very cool brush. It's got these very streaky sort of, you know, effects in it and you can see the color movement, which is beautiful. So that's brush number 30. Here's brush number 31. And this brush is different. It's creamier on the inside, but it's got rough edges. But with both of those brushes, I didn't have to um, sample anything right away to preview what the brush is gonna look like. So that's very key. So that is just the first step. Now over here, when you're working with the wet paint mixer brushes, you're gonna see that this is the mixer brush icon that um, comes up automatically because I've already got those settings worked into the brush. And then along the top of the Photoshop here, you're gonna see all of those mixer brush settings. So right here, we've got the mixer brush icon. Over here, we have the brush size. And then this little um, window up at the top here, that is the paint that's loaded up into that brush. So we can actually, it's small, but we can actually preview what colors we have loaded up into that brush. And then over here, we've got, um, these two settings, which you'll wanna make sure that they are pushed down, selected, like you see here. And then you've got all of the mixer brush settings, which I've already set for you. One thing that I would like to point out is that this setting right here is the brush smoothing setting up here at the top. Now default, I usually have it as 10% because I don't um, really wanna over smooth your brush strokes but you can actually adjust that. So if, and it can kind of give you um, more of a smooth, steady brush stroke. So for example, I'm gonna take this brush number 30 and you know, I can, you know, just brush it and it might not be that smooth. So if I don't have that steady of a hand or I wanna make sure that I have a really smooth brush stroke, I can take this um, percentage up and move it up to say like 90%. Now when I do the brush stroke, it's gonna be very smooth and it's not gonna let it be very jaggedy. So that can be very helpful sometimes, but I don't have that uh, number really high up by default. So that's something that you can turn on or you can adjust to make the brush stroke smoother for you. And right here is a checkbox that says sample all layers. Now, normally when you're doing a brush stroke, I make a new layer or I will have it interact with, you know, something that's already on another layer. But one thing that you can do is you can click sample all layers and I usually like to work non-destructively so I will create a new layer at the top. And whenever you make your brush stroke, it is going to, um, take into account whatever's on all of the layers all together. However, if you've got an area that's totally filled in and you have sample all layers selected, you might not, when you paint your brush stroke because it's wet, it might just disappear. So just keep that in mind um, 
for the future. So these are kind of the, the main parts of the brushes. And one thing that I do want to uh, point out to you is that I have those brushes pre-loaded already with some with a color in there. So in this case, it's a metallic gold. Now, if I want to resize my brush, I can either do it here or I can use my left and my right brackets. Now, when I change my brush size, that color is going to drop out of the brush, the color that was already on there, and it will use whatever color you had sampled last. So sometimes I've had people use my brushes and they say, I changed the, the size of the brush and the color is gone. And I will tell you, that is how Photoshop brushes work. So if you hadn't sampled a color or you just opened up Photoshop and you change that brush size, it is automatically going to, um, the color is going to be gone. The, the color that I sampled for you as a tester is going to be gone. So then you can resample um, and pull some color back into your brushes. But I just want to let you know that that isn't a flaw of the brush. That is just how Photoshop brushes work. So I have created, I want you guys to have instant gratification with these brushes. So I have created, normally with each collection, I've created color palettes. And the color palettes are delivered in a Photoshop PSD file. So you might see something in your zip file or in your file folder that's called color palettes. This, for example, is my wet paint mixer brushes. And here I've got all different color palettes and they are simply a PSD file. So I've got one open here. This is for my, these are my modern impressionist colors. And this is just a bunch of color blends that I have made for you so that you can start sampling colors, playing around with these brushes and have instant gratification. And so I have done them at a really good size for the size that the brushes are. And there is uh, three different layers on there. There's a background, there's the layers, and then there's the actual color palette. So when you are going to load up your brushes, you are going to go to whatever layer the color is on. So in the case of these color palettes, we're gonna go on this middle layer, the color palette layer. And to load brushes, to load colors into our brush, we are going to simply hover on that layer wherever we want, whichever color we want. So in this case, let's get this pink here. And we're going to Option, and I believe on a PC it's Alt. So we don't just click because that would actually paint the brush stroke. We want to Option and click, and then whatever color is on that layer, like we see here, is gonna be loaded up into that brush. And we can see the preview here. Um, one thing that I will tell you, if you only see a solid color, then you need to go to this little drop down and make sure that solid load solid colors only is not checked. So that's a little tip. So now that I've loaded that color up into my brush, I can see it on my preview here. Now I can go over and just paint a brush stroke and we can see all of those colors and it's the, even though the color, the color blends is subtle, it makes all of the difference in the brush stroke because I'm going to show you, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on this little um, brush preview window that's got the color on the top left. And let's, I'm just going to pick out one of the reds, you know, a reddish pink that's inside that color blend. I'm going to click OK. So now this is the same brush, but it's only got a solid color in it. Now I'm going to show you the difference. Um, let me just make a new layer here of the brushes with the multiple colors or a brush with the solid colors. So as you can see, no comparison. Even though the color blend is subtle, it makes all of the difference. And you get these beautiful, amazing strokes just with that Photoshop brush magic those multicolor sampling. So that is the foundations of working with these brushes. 
and the color palettes that I have provided you. I'm just going to go through here quick and show you a few different color palettes and you get the idea. So what I do when I created these color palettes for you guys is I've created kind of a circular shape and I put lots of dots of color. So you can just load up those colors straight away and then create these amazing cool brush strokes. So this was a color palette based on my Palm Beach color. So it's very bright and colorful and crazy. Um, I have got the Impressionist Masters color blends, which I actually took a lot of, um, I sampled from actual Impressionist Masters paintings. I've got some iridescence playing around with um, sampling some images and stuff like that, but I did all the work so that you don't have to. And I'll just kind of give you a little preview here. So I'm just gonna take this brush and load up some color from this Palm Beach collection and I'll grab this really colorful palette number 16 here. So I'm gonna option click, you can uh, on a PC alt click and here we can go so we can see those colors all blending together. You can just do a lot of fun things with that. So that's that one. Um, here's some Impressionist Masters and here's a little color blend. We're gonna zoom in here real quick. Um, I think that you could probably guess which um, Impressionist Masters this was uh, sampled from. This palette number 111, I'm gonna option click on here and let me just zoom out just a minute here. And I think you can see which, which painting it was sampled from. So color blends are a lot of fun. I have created these color palettes for you so you can have the instant gratification of playing around with these brushes, but uh, you are not just limited to color palettes that I've made. So in the other videos, I'm going to go over making your own color blends and also sampling um, sampling directly from images and photographs to make amazing brush strokes. So stay tuned.